community outreach interpreter with the Huron Clinton Metro Parks. Basically, that means I'm a teacher that goes to schools and teaches children fun stuff about animals and nature. But today, I'm visiting you in your very own home to have fun learning about turtles. Now, during the time that we're together today, we're going to have a puppet show, we're going to pretend to be a turtle, and we're going to sing a song about turtles. So let's go ahead and, and get started with that puppet show. But I gotta tell you something, I gotta tell you a secret about these puppets. Now these puppets, when they're not out here talking to us, they're asleep. And can we talk to them if they're asleep? No, of course not, so we're gonna have to wake them up. And I need your help to do that. Could you guys help me with that? Yeah? Well, what we have to do is we have to say some magic words. Now the magic words we're gonna say aren't abracadabra or bibbity boppity boo <laughs> No, the words that we're gonna say are wake up, puppets. Can you try that for me? Wake up, puppets. Very good. And what we'll do is we'll say that over and over again until the puppet comes out. And then when it does, you turn on your listening ears and you listen to what it has to say. All right, let's start saying those words. Wake up, puppets. Wake up. Come on, puppets. Wake up. It's time to come out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Why don't I know what I am? Think. have an idea of what you are but we want let's ask it some questions first just to make sure um, ask it say uh, what do you like to do what do you like to do little one? Oh, I love to go swimming oh I love to go swimming do you guys like to go swimming too yeah I know when I go swimming I can't breathe underwater can you guys well so let's ask him ask him say can you breathe underwater oh well I've never tried let me see <laughs> no, I cannot breathe underwater. Oh, well, if you can't breathe underwater, then you're definitely not a fish because fish can breathe underwater. Ask it, say, where did you come from? Where did you come from, little one? Oh, didn't you hear me say at the beginning, I hatched out of an egg. Oh, I know some animals that hatch out of eggs and they can fly. Can you fly? Oh, let me see. I'm going to try. Okay, here I go. Whee! Oh, I fell on the floor. Oh, boy. Hold on. Here I come. How was that? Was that flying? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I think that was more like falling with style, don't you think? Yeah. Oh, look at this on its back. Do you guys know what that is? Yeah, it's a shell. What do you do with your shell, little one? Does it help keep you warm? No, my shell doesn't help keep me warm. It helps protect me from animals that might want to eat me. We call those kind of animals predators. Can you say that? Predators? Very good. No, if I want to get warm, I have to lay out in the sun to get warm. Oh, you know what? Hey, guys, there's a word that scientists use for animals like this one that have to lay out in the sun to raise their body temperature. And they're called cold-blooded. Can you guys say cold-blooded? Yeah, you and I, we're warm-blooded. But this one is cold-blooded. Tell them, say, you're cold-blooded. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I know what I am. I am a cold-blooded. I'm going to go and tell everybody in the pond. Bye. Oh, <laughs> goes that little guy. Well, sure, he's a cold-blooded animal, but what kind of cold-blooded animal do you think he is? Yeah, I think he's a turtle, too. You know that thing that he said was on his back, that shell? I happen to have a snapping turtle shell that I want to show you right here. This is the top part, and you can see the bottom part here, and it's made out of something hard, and that's something you have inside of your body. Do you know what's inside your body that's hard? Yeah, bones. And speaking of bones, this one right here is where the backbone would be. Can you reach back and tap your backbone? Very good. And these ones that are coming off the sides here, those are the ribs. Can you guys feel your ribs? Tickle your ribs. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> Very good. Now, I have a question to ask you. Tonight, when it's time for you to go to bed, can you take off your spine and your ribs and hang it up in the closet before you go to sleep? 
No, of course not. That would be silly. And turtles can't do that either. Their shell is part of their body and they grow with it. Sometimes people think turtles can leave their shells and get another one, but that, nope, they have to grow with it. Um, you know, um, now the shell is covered with some very special scales. In fact, a turtle has scales all over its body, but on its shell, we have a special name for those scales. Those are called scoots. Can you say that? Scoots? Yeah, not like scooting around on the floor. It's a different kind of a scoot, but that's the, the show there. Hey, you know what? Maybe we could pretend to be that turtle now. You guys want to do that with me? Yeah? Okay, so let me put this here, and we need to get down on the floor. And I want you to pretend like you have this shell on your back, okay? And we're going to be a snapping turtle at the bottom of the pond, and we're going to hunt for some fish, okay? And what we'll do is we'll sit there perfectly still so the fish think we're a rock. And then we'll put up our arm and we're gonna pretend that our arm is our turtle neck and our hand is our turtle mouth. Then when the fish come, we'll grab them and then we'll eat them, okay? All right, get yourselves ready. Okay, sit down. We're sitting nice and still. Oh wait, I think I see a bluegill over there. Okay, on the count of three, we're gonna catch the bluegill, okay? One, two, three, grab it! Yum, 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 yum. Ooh, that was pretty good. Oh wait, you know what? I see a perch right over here. It's a little bit bigger than that bluegill. On the count of three, let's get it. One, two, three, grab it! Yum, 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 yum. Oh wait, here comes a great big trout. It's right there. It's so big, we need two hands for this one. Are you ready? One, two, three, grab it! Yum, 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 yum. Very good! You did a wonderful job pretending to be a turtle. You know, now that leads us to the last thing we were going to do, and that was sing a song. So this one we have to stand up for. I know I had you sit back down, but let's go ahead and stand up. All right, very good. We're going to sing it. Now this song is sung to a tune that you're probably familiar with called I'm a Little Teapot. And uh, in this one, though, we'll put our hands on our hips like this. We'll put our hand on our head. We'll put our hand on our shell on the front and back. We're going to pretend to run. And then lastly, we're going to tuck our head and our legs inside of our shell like this. Okay, you got the moves? All right, so we're going to do this. But I need you to help me count to three. And then we'll sing it. One, two, three. I'm a little turtle, short and stout. Here is my head and here is my shell. When I get scared, I run and hide. I pull my head and legs inside. Very good, everybody. Give yourselves a round of applause. Very good. Sit back down. Very nice. Now, friends, I had a lot of fun with you today, learning about turtles, seeing that that puppet friend come out and meet us, pretending to be a turtle and singing that turtle song. Thank you for joining me today. Turtles really are terrific, aren't they? We have a whole bunch of different kinds of turtles here in the Metro Parks. You should stop by one of the 13 Metro Parks and see if you can find one basking on a log. That means, you know, laying on the log out in the sun. So come on out and see us. You never know what you're gonna see. Oh, and if your parents aren't quite sure where we are, they can go on to the web. The website is www.metroparks.com and on that website they can find out how to get to us and learn all of the fun things that we have here to do at the Metro Parks. And one more thing, make sure that you subscribe to this channel, you click the like button, and you share us with all of your friends. All right guys, I had a great time. I'll see you next time. Bye!